Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on another of my interviews. A brief one today, ladies and gentlemen, because we want to tell you about an amazing event. And let me tell you, it's amazing because I'm not actually there. I'm not promoting my own stuff, but I am visiting and it's going to be great. So if you want to say hello to me uh, or avoid me, then stay on the other side of the field. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know about, and I've got a huge list of stuff here I want to tell you about, if you want to know about whether we're going to go down the path of technocracy, if I can say it, or Mother Earth, you listen up. We've got climate science, we've got nutrition for prepping, we've got biotrain theory, uh, it might even be bioterrain theory, superfoods, all gone energy, new native indigenous rights. We've got apocatheries, lucid dreaming, spinal care, voice therapy, Merkabar meditations. We've got the star family popping in. That's uh, beings from UFOs. They might not actually arrive, but we'll never know. And fractal water and resilient communities. I've no idea what any of that means, but I know a man who does. Eli, every man is here. Hello, Eli. Hi. Hello. Hi, Richard. You're the man responsible for the Shine Seminars, which are happening, if I remember rightly, at the beginning of August, something like the 4th to the 6th, is that correct? Correct, correct. Oh, I've done, I've done my homework for a change. Um, so this is about the, the choice we've got, am I right, with, te te tell me how we pronounce that, technocracy, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Technocracy, or we go and keep Mother Earth. We're either going to be robots and drones, or we're going back to nature to enjoy this wonderful world that we should be. And you've got this event going on, and it's, I know it's already getting packed, because uh, you told me earlier, but we don't want people to miss out. Absolutely. Is that right? No, that's right. So some of these things, I mean, they sound absolutely brilliant. So just tell me, just, just re remind us of the event, and then perhaps we'll look at some of these specific things that you've got going on. Okay, so uh, thanks for having me, Richard. It's lovely to Pleasure. see you uh, You're looking very healthy, which is great. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much. <laughs> I do, my, I do <laughs> my best, you know, a few organic apples yeah. here and there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're doing this event. Um, it's in South Gloucestershire. It's a, a three-day event. You can come for the day. So there are day tickets. There are actually two-day tickets and the weekend. Um, and there is camping there. Unfortunately, no dogs. But children are free. Um, and we've been given this lovely space to um, congregate with some amazing people. They're all of the same ilk. They're all very much um, awake. Um, and a lot of them have been doing this type of work for many, many years. So they're professionals in their own right. Um, a lot of them are um, published authors. Um, and they are truly embodying what they do. So um, they are absolutely you know, uh, experts in their field. So I, I, I do this one day event called the Shine Seminars and I've done them since 2021, coming out of the adversity of the lockdowns in 2021. And um, I, did, I was given the opportunity to rent a festival site of which um, Sundara community is having a festival. Then we're doing our, our gig and then the Rainbow Camp is coming after us. So we've got this incredible site um, and uh, I've managed to um, put the call out to these amazing people and they've all said yes and we're going to have an amazing time. Um, it's going to be very educational, a lot of fun, um, a lot of different uh, disciplines and modalities as they call it, um, healing modalities um, for the 4th, 5th and 6th, which I believe is about 10 days away now or close to. So yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's not far. So tell me some of these things then, um, for example, Orgon energy. What's that about? Mm -hmm. Well, um, Orgon is kind of the, the the Western word for chi, actually. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's the it's the Western word for for uh, what you would call the life force. So, um, for, I mean, it is actually it could be called the Kundalini, and there is there is life force in everything. Um, and we can get deep on that if you want. But in that no, context, no, no, don't don't get deep. Let, let people can turn up and get deep with one of your absolutely wonderful, so, wonderful speakers. But in effect, the, the, we've got Harry Rhodes coming, um, and he's just opened up a healing centre with um, Mark Atwood in Ireland, um, and he's going to bring this cloud bursting machine. You know the Kate Bush song, cloud bursting. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know where there's the big machine that moves the clouds. Yeah. You see the 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 um the obsoletes as I like to call them. Um they've got their own geoengineering program, but we've also got ours. Um and and, and we can manipulate the weather too. 
So well, that's, that's <laughs> incorrect. I, I, I interviewed um, Charles Dowding not so long ago, the no dig chap, and he has got in his garden these uh, copper rods all joined together with a couple of uh, crystals and things. And he claims that it does exactly that. It can yeah. dispel the clouds to keep the sun. It must work because his garden is magnificent. Yeah, and that is literally the same thing. We're tapping in to the zero point field, as uh, as some people call it, the quantum field. And this is obviously, it's interesting with quantum uh, technologies and the quantum field in the physical physics arena. It's the most uh, studied field ever. And wow. just keeps coming back saying, yes, this exists. Yes, this exists. It's it's 100%. Um, you know, the quantum the quantum world is here. And that's where we're working at the moment. So Charles Dowding is a great example of that. Ah, oh, brilliant. And yeah. now let's have a look at some of these other things. What about this uh, lucid dreaming? I'm sure everybody loves a, bit, a few lucid dreams if they're nice and kind and, and what have you. Yeah. Or of a, a slightly... Uh, erotic nature but um what is it well you know we've yeah. got to get our fix from somewhere um but uh, what does it mean when you say lucid dreaming is it about bringing it on and having dreams in which you sort of find answers to things um well roseanne jacks is the lady who's going to be with us and i uh i don't think you've had her on your show but no I haven't. She's, she's a lovely lady um it's working with the subconscious Ah. Um, and, and what you can do is uh, there are many, many different techniques, but you can go to bed, you can set an intention um, and say, I would like this answer to come from my dream. You drink some water, you go to sleep with that intention and then you wake up in the morning, and you write it down. And the more you work with something, it's the same as anything, isn't it? Mm. You know, if you, if you want to build a really good sound castle, get down the beach, build many, many sound castles and you get a huge sound castle. Same with lucid dreaming. Um, it's a practice, as everything is, and um, you can you can start working with your dreams and um, you know tapping into some very deep archetypal, um, you know, primordial even images. So, but Roseanne Jack's the lady, and she runs a um, a course in Bristol. Um, she does one to ones and groups. So, I'm very happy to have Roseanne with us. Well, that's uh, as I say, you've got an amazing lineup of people. Um, fractal water what is fractal water you see i'm i'm so ignorant to all of these things which is what why it's so important for me to come along and learn like so many of my audience they may know some things but they may not know everything and and you seem to have encapsulated it all so tell me what fractal fractal water is so water has a natural state mm. and actually we don't really see it that much anymore um, and Dr. Emoto's work, I don't know whether you've, you've covered that. I've heard the name, but I've not done too much about it. So Dr. Emoto, he did a set of laboratory experiments with water where he would, um, talk, he would talk to water and he would say particular words into water and water uh. has its own intelligence. And so it will, if, you, if you say the word hate into water, it, it has this kind of chaotic um, manifestation. And if you, if you say the word love into it, it produces this beautiful um so there is an intelligence in water and this is again this is kind of a quantum thing that's coming out at the moment this 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 knowledge so um fractal water is is taking any water and actually taking it back to its original state and you can do this by spinning it you can spin it up um into a vortex and it will it will go back into its natural state like with a teaspoon well you've got to do it pretty quickly right Okay. Uh, more of a blender more of a blender blend um, water yeah but you can what's really interesting is because we had a lot of hydro technology and therapies through victorian times and into edwardian times yeah now obviously when when you know the, the the new medical the allopathic medical system came into power they got rid of all the hydrotherapies um and there was places like buxton um, and different uh, hydrotherapy centers around the country, they understood all this technology. Um, you can actually get a glass of water and put it in sunlight. And I think it's about 15 minutes and it will go back to being its 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 natural state just by being in sunlight. Right. It's getting it's, us to think about what water is. Yeah. And and the and the health, you know, the, the healthy state of water. So um, Buster Nolan's gonna be with us, an incredible guy. Um he L- love his name, Buster Nolan. Yeah, brilliant. Um, oh, he's a lovely guy. Um, he's he's been around a long, long time. He he actually, I heard him talk about fractal water 
on YouTube, and he said that when the water comes out of the clouds, it spins, and when it hits the ground, it actually charges the ground. It's got a charge. Right. It actually, yeah, it's really fascinating stuff. Gosh. Um, and and he talks about how when you use iron and steel tools to work the land, it actually damages the land through its polarity. If you use copper tools, it actually makes healthy. I mean, you've just had the conversation with Giles, Charles Dowding. Mm. Um, so if you and so they're all intertwined, aren't they? These things. Absolutely. I mean, it's funny you should say that because a friend of mine who's a gardener um, in London. Uh, has, runs an allotment. He was talking about the same thing. If you use um, metal, t- if you use um, iron typed tools, the iron filings actually they attract the slugs and snails. But if you use copper ones, he says that actually that that repels them. They don't like it, so they stay off your plants. Uh, it's just that copper tools are a lot more expensive than the the cheap mass produced iron ones. So, um, yeah. but it's interesting that it also damages the earth as well. Yeah, no, it's exactly it. And, uh, you know, Buster does a little um, YouTube video about his tools. And th- I mean, admittedly, they are expensive yeah. um, because not many people are making them. But can you imagine if, you know, Spear and Jackson were mass producing copper tools, they wouldn't be expensive. No, that's, that's very true. <laughs> so, so let's just we'll, yeah. we'll do a, another one before we go, because we try and keep this nice and short. Yeah. Um, Star family. Here we go. Uh, is this about celebrities? Who have you got? Which famous celebrity? Is it uh, Kim Kardashian or someone? Some star family? No. no absolutely thank not. God I, for that. I, I apologize. Next time, maybe. No. I put, I put the call out and she said no. no. Um, <laughs> um, so um, it, it's to do with us becoming galactic in our nature. Um, right. there, there is a whole narrative and obviously there's... Um, uh, you know, the world of the UFO, UFOlogists and, and, and are there aliens, aren't there not aliens type thing. Um, and um, there's a guy called Michael Sala who talks about um, moving into our Star Trek future. Um, because obviously at some point we are going to go off in off planet, etc. cetera. Um, but we've got a chap called Matt Bell who talks about galactic consciousness. And so it, it's... it's um, it's interesting. It talks about Pleiadians and Arcturians and Andromedans and, and Syrian consciousness. So it's a different level of consciousness. It's not a human consciousness. Mm. Um, and Matt is absolutely fantastic. He's down near Bournemouth, I think. Um, and he's coming up and he's going to talk about the different types of consciousness that are not human and about connecting to our star family. Um, it, Michael Feely, who's going to be there as well, is an absolutely phenomenal guy, and and he he actually explains uh, where we come from within uh, the cosmos, um, and in fact, my interview with him on YouTube, um, he he gives us a little a few little secrets there of, of of where we actually do come from because that my my journey I'll just tell you quickly my journey was I wanted to know in like 2000 2001 where humans came from. That was my question. And mm. why we didn't know. Why don't we know where we came from? And I think what's happening at the moment is that we're learning some of these things. These kind of hidden secrets are actually coming out. And people like Matt Bell and Michael Feely are, are talking about that. Laura Eisenhower as well, who obviously is coming over from America, she talks about um, galactic history. And she knows about galactic history. Um, the, people do know about this stuff. It's just been hidden from us. So it's a really all, exciting... Yeah, I was going to say, they're all descending um, in S- South Gloucestershire, you said? Uh, yes, Westbury on Seven, just just off the uh, Forest of Dean there. And, um, yeah, three days. You can buy um, day tickets, two-day tickets, three-day tickets, and it's going to be an amazing gathering. Well, you'd be absolutely bonkers not to... If you're a, a regular viewer and you're in the UK and you're around, twiddling your thumbs in early August and you think, what can we do to enlighten our soul then I would be nipping over. Well, in fact, I am. I am nipping over to the Shine <laughs> seminars. Um, and I'll put a link in the description so people can get involved and they can, can just, work out... Sorry, Richard, can I just say briefly, I yeah. just thought as a thank you to you mm. and your audience, why don't I give you a code so that people can get 25% off their tickets? Wow, that's what, very generous. What do you think? I think that's... Yeah, 25%. I'll yeah. go for that. Yeah, so um, I'm not... 
I'll, I'll give you the code afterwards and you can put it in the description. But anybody who sees your show, um, a little bit of a giveaway and a big thank you and gratitude for your support. Um, um, and you can put it into Eventbrite and you'll get 25% off the tickets. You can't go say fairer than that, can you? No. <laughs> Eli, thank you so much. That's so good. Well, I'll see all of you lot uh, watching at the Shine Seminars um, in a few weeks' time. So uh, thank you very much. Looking forward to shaking your hand and saying good on you. And, you. and of course, listening to all those amazing speakers. Of course, there's that happening as well. Uh, Brilliant. Eli, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, uh, Richard. My pleasure. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back with more of the nonsense that I usually do. Till then, from Eli and me, goodbye. <laughs>